Hello, Chris Green here with the Flood Insurance Guru. Today we're talking about the Pearl River. And we're talking about Marion County, you know, Columbia, Mississippi. These areas that just got new flood maps on October 18th, 2019. You know, what do these new flood maps mean for you? What are the flood zones in this area? We're gonna discuss all those in this video. So let's first of all talk about these new flood maps that went into effect in October for Marion County, Columbia, Mississippi. You know, in southern Mississippi, what does it mean for residents? Well, about 740 people are being moved from a, a low risk zone to a high risk zone. This means you're going from a non-mandatory flood zone to a high risk flood zone. What this means is that now, if you carry a mortgage or if you carry an additional interest on your property, you're going to be required to carry flood insurance. So this is a very important to know because you're probably going to be getting a letter from your mortgage company that says, hey, you were recently moved into a special flood hazard area and now we're going to require flood insurance. We're giving you 45 days to get this flood insurance or we're going to force place it on your mortgage for you. So what does all that mean? Well, that's what we want to talk about today. What this means is you've been moved into the 1% chance of flooding within a given year. FEMA calls it the 100 year flood zone is what this means. So when this change has taken place, you know, what can you do? Well, we want to talk about the different options today. There's really three options. There's two options when it comes to flood insurance. You've got the National Flood Insurance Program and you've got private market flood insurance. And then you've got what's called a letter of map amendment or a flood zone change, which you might be a candidate for. And so we're going to talk about those three today. But first, let's talk about the flood zones that are in Marion County, near Columbia, Mississippi. You know, what are the main zones? Well, the main zones are what's called A zone, AE zone. These are your mandatory zones, your 100 year flood zones. And then you've got flood zone X, which is the non-mandatory zone. Now, it can be with these new flood maps. There are a few people that are being moved from high risk to low risk. This means they're being moved from either A or AE to that flood zone X. So you might be getting a letter from your mortgage company that says, hey, good news, flood insurance is no longer gonna be required. But you definitely still wanna carry it because 30% of flooding occurs in these areas as a result of flash flooding. Well, the main risk for Marion County, as we saw from the flood in 2016, is flash flooding along the Pearl River. You know, a lot of these business district areas that were flooded, flooding generally occurs because of a large amount of rainfall within a short amount of time. So this is very important to understand. So let's talk about if you were moved into those high-risk areas. You know, you can go through the National Flood Insurance Program and you can set up a traditional policy. Just had a customer like this today that set everything up, paid their $1,500. Only problem is they accidentally overpaid by $1,000 because they didn't get access to the newly mapped rates. Now, the good news for them, though, is since the rates just changed, they did have 12 months to change this with FEMA. So we helped them change this. So you have what's called newly mapped rates. Generally, these have like a one day wait period. And what FEMA's doing is they're giving you a different type of rate for the first year to help you adjust to having flood insurance. And then after that first year, it's gonna significantly start to increase. Now generally, if you're talking about $250,000 on your bill, on your house or $100,000 in contents, you're talking about four to $600 in these newly mapped rate areas. Where if you go and do the regular policy without taking advantage of that, you might be talking about 1500 to two grand or 2000 to 3000 So it's important that whoever you reach out to for flood insurance that you let them know, my flood map recently changed and I think I qualify for newly mapped rates. Now the other option is you can go through the private market for flood insurance, which is what we recommend a lot here. And the reason is maybe you need coverages more than 250000 Maybe you need belongings more than 100000 or or maybe you want to get temporary living expenses. So if your house floods, like with what happened with Katrina in South Mississippi and Louisiana back in 05, you, know, you want to have a place to live while your house is either being replaced or repaired, then private market might be a good option for you because they do offer those coverages. Their rates can generally be 30, 40, 50% less because they use different technology. So these are the different options. So then what is a letter of map in What does a flood zone change? Well, this is when we look at your property and look at the lowest adjacent grade of your property and we notice it's above the base flood elevation. So what this means now is that you might be a candidate to have your flood zone changed back to that flood zone X. And this is a process we go through of disputing with FEMA to see if you qualify for it. So this is a letter of map amendment flood zone change. So you may qualify for this if you've got a survey or an elevation certificate that can show us the documentation that we need to help argue this for you. So, 
If you've got questions about the new flood map changes in Marion County, in, you know, around Columbia, Mississippi, or you've already got flood insurance in these areas and you wanna look for a better option, then please reach out to us. FloodInsuranceGuru.com, go to our YouTube channel or our Facebook page, The Flood Insurance Guru, where we do these daily flood education videos. You can also give us a call, 205-451-4294. Remember, we have an educational background in flood mitigation, so we can help you understand flood risks, like the Pearl River right here. Your flood insurance and mitigating your property long-term to help you minimize flood losses and flood premiums. Thank you.